Okay, so I'm just checking the time because, okay, apparently I have 34 minutes to do this. So let's hope it doesn't take that long. Um, yeah, uh, so I bought a an SD card for my phone so I can uh, not have this problem of running out of space every time I want to make a video, which will be nice. Um, so for now I've just deleted a bunch of stuff off my phone and hope hope for the best really. Um, this may not last very long because Spongle is here and he really 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 wants me to throw frisbee so there might be a lot of Spongle no and, and get off me and please stop doing that and now will you be quiet? Um, but no. Today, or should I say this video is um, about something that I have made a video about several times and uploaded it several times and deleted it several times uh, because it's kind of embarrassing but it's something that I feel I need to talk about because it's kind of... Oh, it's playing on my mind a lot and I'm really worried so yeah for the past like over 10 years I've had this problem when I eat I get really bad acid reflux and heartburn and stuff like that um, like I went through a period where I ate nothing but rice cakes and drank water and I still got it uh, eventually I went to the doctor like I was like literally living off Rennie and you know what that does to you it's just, it doesn't do very good things um, I did lose a lot of weight which was something um, uh, yeah, and I was given these tablets to help with the acid reflux and stuff. Um, so yeah, since then, like I, I, I realised that like gluten seemed to be the problem, so I just kind of avoided gluten because that was the thing that was giving me heartburn and acid reflux. And like when I say acid reflux, I mean like constant. It's like heartburn. It's not like oh, a little bit of heartburn here. I need a Rennie, and oh, now I'm fine. No, it was like I was chugging Rennie. I was like chugging Gaviscon from the bottle, and then just feeling sick, really bloated. And every now and then, I'd be like, "Sorry, I want a pizza." So I'd eat a pizza, and then be like, "Why? Why, God, why?" Um, so yeah, I just decided it's best to just avoid gluten. So then, a couple of months ago, like. Really, when we went to France, I was eating proper bread and realized i didn't I didn't have this problem anymore like i could I wasn't taking the magic tablets and I wasn't having this issue um, and then when I came back, I went back to eating gluten free um, and the symptoms kind of like came back even though I was avoiding gluten. Like, I was still getting acid reflux all the time, especially in the mornings. Um, whenever I had breakfast, if, like, if I had coffee, I'd get acid reflux. If I had, um, like, porridge, like, I'd get it. It was really annoying. And then other things started to happen, like other gastrointestinal issues, which I will not go into great detail of but let me say there has been some developments in the latter part of the uh, gastrointestinal system which have not been pleasant and they've been going on for a few months uh, to the point where I went to the doctor and uh, yeah, the doctor was like, they asked me a lot of questions I've just been given a frisbee so things might be about to get loud um, asked me a bunch of questions about my diet, how much I drink, uh, various other lifestyle questions, um, how long it had been going on, lots of questions about poo and stuff, um, asked me to keep a poo diary, which I gave up on in the end because it was the same every day. Um, so I have to go and have a, a scan for gallstones, but he doesn't think it's gallstones. Um, he also doesn't think I'm allergic slash intolerant to gluten. He thinks it's probably an intolerance to FODMAP, which I do remember means something. It's, it's something that's in simple carbohydrates. It's fermented uh, something, something, 
something. If it's fermented sugar in your diet, uh, so it can be anything from alcohol to uh, carbohydrates to anything like like fruits, uh, certain pulses, anything like that. So as well as that, um, he has scheduled me to go and have an endoscopy which I'm really not looking forward to because um, yeah like bearing in mind like I'm a little bit sick like most mornings anyway because of my digestive system it doesn't matter what I drink or don't drink or eat or don't eat like I'm always like a little bit sick sometimes in the morning um, it's not happening Spungle it's not happening um, and so yeah, I have to go to Marbella on Thursday to go and have this endoscopy and also a colonoscopy, which will be fun. Get to have a camera stuck up my butt, and they're gonna look around in my butt. Nice, and also look around in my gut, which you know, I'm, to be honest, I'm I'm more worried about the thing going down my throat than anything else because I'm probably just going to be like <coughs> but the thing that I'm most concerned about is uh, as of tomorrow, Tuesday Tuesday, today is Sunday so as of Tuesday I have to eat a very special diet oh. no maybe it is tomorrow I don't know it's weird um Anyway, I have to eat, um, like, boiled chicken with no skin, or boiled fish, or egg, white bread, butter, and cheese. That's all I'm allowed to eat for two days. And then as of Wednesday morning, um, I can have, like, my final breakfast. And um, then I don't eat anything for the rest of Wednesday except drink this solution that they've given me it's like a potion of horrible horrible things that will happen and i make a liter of it on wednesday and drink a liter of it and uh, one of the things it says is uh, do not stray too far from a toilet expect your bowels to be opened frequently do you mind please busy here um, and then also on Thursday, uh, which would be fun because I was going to go up to Marbella the day before and just like stay in a hotel and just like die in a hotel for a day, like on a toilet. But I've decided not to do that and to just travel up on Thursday morning and just hope for the best, hope I don't poo my pants on the way. Uh, but yeah, some of the things that the, this thing says, uh, it sounds absolutely gruesome. And I'm really not looking forward to it at all, like, really. But I know it needs to be done. And one, and I'm sure, actually, it's probably not going to be, not going to be as bad as I think it's going to be. It's probably going to be all right. And, um, well, to be honest, it's probably not going to be any worse than it is already. So, um, yeah, like, but it's, I've lost, like, nearly five to eight kilos in the last month and a bit because like yeah it's, it's not right like something's really really not not happening down there well it is happening that's the problem and uh so yeah then i get to go and do that and i've had blood tests done that actually get... hello spongo are you gonna say hi or are you just gonna make stupid noises uh, okay he's gonna say hi i'm not throwing the frisbee Talking about serious stuff here. Talking about poo. Guess where that's going? It's going under the sofa. Bye. Okay. Frisbee's gone. Frisbee's gone. Um, so yeah, that's gonna happen. And uh, yeah, I had a test for celiacs, which I've not actually not actually had the uh, results back for yet. Uh, but the doctor expects it to be negative because he doesn't think I'm celiac, he doesn't think I'm allergic to gluten, he doesn't think I have a gluten intolerance and to be quite honest um, I've had to eat gluten for the past like three weeks and I have and um, if anything things have got a bit better if I'm honest. So um, yeah that's fun but another fun thing I got to do which is something that I've never done before is I got to do a poo in a pot 
they gave me a pot and I had to go and poo in it. And then, uh, yeah, Christmas Eve, I took it into like uh, the the lab, and I'm like, yeah, Merry Christmas. It's a pot of my poo. <laughs> she didn't think it was funny. I know some people just have no sense of humour. So yeah, hopefully come next week. Uh, I should know a bit more as to what is going on inside my body. Um, I feel like the latter half of 2018 has been a discovery and um, investigation as to why I am the way I am in so many different ways. Like this is a problem that I've had for uh, like since I was about 20. I'm now nearly 33, so yeah, like nearly 13 years. I've had this problem and I've just been like, nah, it's fine, I just won't eat that and just take this tablet that I'm not supposed to eat. And um, my last GP put it very well when um, he said to me, let me get this straight. You take a tablet every day that you're not supposed to, to eat food which actively is harming your body. Can't argue with that. Absolutely right. Yeah, sorry. I want to eat pizza, I want to eat cake, I want to eat pastry. I'm gonna take that tablet and eat what I want. Um, but yeah, I, I, I do realize that's a bit silly and it's probably good that I get to the bottom of, excuse the pun, uh, get to the bottom of actually why uh, why this is happening and why the symptoms have got worse um, over the last uh, the last few months and um, hopefully that once that's done I can find out actually what the deal is what I should be eating what I shouldn't be eating and um, then not have to live off these tablets and get back to enjoying food and not worrying about the consequences also not running to the toilet like six seven times a day that would be nice as well it's quite awkward when people are like wow you disappear a lot and I'm like yep to the toilet again souls souls about me so yeah there's one thing hopefully I can tick off the list and move on um, so that is my poo video I told you it was coming I told you the poo video was coming and here it is um, so yeah that's for Thursday I'm sure there'll be an update I'm sure I'll tell you all about like that wonderful experience uh, later in the week and um, yeah I suppose I should uh, probably dig out this frisbee that I've hidden I don't, he doesn't seem bothered now he's got a stick he's having a scratch it's all good uh, but yeah there we go the poo video gastrointestinal issues are horrible and they they, 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 they are you know because they, they really stress you out and give you headaches and sore bottom and make you sick and you don't know why and everything hurts and and actually you know they can have uh, um, other um, like very physical symptoms like headaches and fatigue and like aching muscles uh, just all kinds of things really so hopefully this will be an I'm going to say an end to the story, but I'm sure it's not the end, uh, but at least it's a step in the right direction. Uh, just like with epilepsy, it's discovery, investigation, find out what works, find out what doesn't. Same with the bipolar, really. What works, what doesn't. So far that seems to be going well. So, uh, yeah. Happy days. I'm really glad that this video hasn't lasted as long as any of the other ones have on this subject probably because I'm not drunk and get really embarrassed because let's face it everybody poos just some people poo more than others oh god what's he got I, 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 I don't I don't want to know he's got something okay I'm gonna have to go and find out what he's got before he starts barking at me so Ciao for now. Got a tail. Got a dog. Got a dog now. Yeah. Okay. Ciao for now, and there might be uh, there might be another one coming soon. You never know. Bye.